Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again, I am Doc Rotten and this is Gruesome Magazine where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Christopher G. Moore, and uh, we'll take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight we go back to Shudder, one of our favorite uh, streaming uh, channels to review Mandrake. Oh yeah, hey. let's find out. All right, joining me this week is the one and only Jeff Moore. How you doing, sir? Ah! Oh, um, holy shit! You all right? Are you guys are still alive? <laughs> I, I thought you know. I've been uprooted, and when I screamed, it killed me. Rooted. I love love that Midwestern rooted. Uh, All right. Also joined this week. Rooted. I've been uprooted. (laughs) We were the living dead girl. How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah. Is that that Freddy? Sorry, Crystal. Oh, yeah. Is that Freddy? Yeah, see? That's Freddy. Freddy? You got a Freddy? Yeah, see? There he is. Show everybody the Freddy. My boyfriend. Are you ready for Freddy? Ready for Freddy. All right. You've got a... Gruesome eyeball back there. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had that for a few years, but my eyeball's green. Yours is purple, right? But I think it's the same one that you got and you painted. Yeah. 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 So All right. Also like, joining. It's like meant to be. It like was. Obviously. It was. Really. That's what I was thinking. Also joining us is award-winning filmmaker, <laughs> Christopher G. Moore. How you doing, sir? I am Root. I am oh, Root. Jesus. No. I am Root. root. <laughs> No. I am Roots. No, no. Baby. No, no, no. Uh, baby. I'm dying. Root, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Root, baby, baby. Drake. Beer. Oh, God. Yeah. Anyway. Root, beer. All right. We are here to <laughs> make bad jokes and review Mandrake. Um, and I'm all out of Mandrake. All right. So what we're going to... Yeah. Damn. All right. Let's take a look at the card and get into things because the night's just... Just going fast. All yeah. right. Mandrake, a 2022 on Shutter, available streaming beginning November 10th, 2022. Synopsis, a probation officer, Kathy Madden, is tasked with rehabilitation, rehabilitating a notorious killer named Bloody Mary Laidlaw back into society following a two-decade sentence. It's directed by Lynn Davison, written by Matt Harvey. The uh, stars include uh, Deidre Mullins, uh, Der- Derby or Derbel. Durbel Crotty? <laughs> Crody? Crody. Sure. It's got to be Crody, right? Even with the two T's. Uh, Paul Kennedy. Uh, Seamus O'Hara, <laughs> Nigel O'Neill, and Ian D. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? No, no, no. no. It's, it's, you it's, try it's, so hard. It's, really it's, not, it's, not, it's not Seamus? Sweet. Is it Seamus? Yeah, Seamus. Okay. So. What did I say? For... All right. No, I'm just laughing because Durable Karate sounds like a, something you go to the doctor for. I, I've had Durable Karate. Very hard yeah. Oh, no, like, that's not nice. Karate, no, right? Somebody, you gotta, you somebody had that. That's not nice. That's a, that's a, I've never, I, I, yeah, I've never heard a name like that. Durable. Durable. That's Durable? that's an interesting, interesting name. Durable. Anyway, Pro- it, it is, it's, it's unfortunate it is an easy target, so we apologize in advance for all the jokes that we'll say. All right, let's get into our review of this, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off giving you our first impression uh, that will be mm-hmm. spoiler-free, and then we'll get into a discussion about this and dig for spoilers, and then we'll wrap things up with our score, <laughs> one to five, and Yay. our favorite scene, and of course... Yes, we uh, hope you enjoy this review and many others we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like, subscribe, and share with a friend buttons. They're easy and free to do. And, of course, it will help us greatly and also help us reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers. And only you can help us do that. Thank you. Thank you. And, of course, leave your comments down below because we want to hear what you say about this one. All right. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Crystal, you volunteered. Oh. What is your first impression (laughs) of Mandrake? Okay. So, <laughs> I think this movie is shot really well, and I really enjoyed the performances of actually everyone in the cast. I didn't have a single problem with any of their performances. Um, this is a movie from Ireland, and um, I will say that I think that it's got some interesting lore that l- lore, not lore, lore that they explore. Um, it's, it's like a folk horror type film. Um, some of it might be lost on 
us Americans because we're not quite familiar with everything. I mean, I, I'm familiar with Mandrake Root, not just because of Harry Potter, just any, like, pagans. It's very, it's pretty predominant in pagan rituals and things like that. Um, I, I had a difficult time following this film, however. Um, I understand the concept of it. I understand the characters. But... I didn't understand what they were trying to tell us or where they were trying to go, unfortunately. Some of it was um, that it was hard to understand what they were saying at points. It seemed like the volume actually got really quiet at points as well, in addition to their accents. Most of the time, I didn't have a very difficult time, but sometimes it was like I had to actually rewind it and try to replay it just to hear it again. Um, Captions would have been kind of nice on this but like I said the performances were great I really liked some of the shots um and I liked the overall tone and feel of the movie I just wasn't crazy about the story which is pretty much the film unfortunately I I think that they were going somewhere and I kind of liked where they were headed but I didn't like where they went so yeah oh yeah yeah all right. All right, Christopher. What was your first impression of Mandrake? Um, more, more like Blandrake. Blandrake, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> I. This is a mess of a movie. Uh, it, the the, the structure, the storytelling structure, uh, how everything plays out has one of the worst endings of any movie I've seen in a while. Uh, because it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense it doesn't it's very it's the most uneventful ending uh and and it it seems to uh, seems to cop the cop uh things from the witch but not in a good way um i mean i understand the whole mandrake aspect of it you know uh but just just the the logic of the characters is some of the most stupid characters ever in a movie I don't know about you, but if if I have a kid, the last place I'm going to take my kid to is where two kids were <laughs> killed. Yeah. Um, and just some of the, you know, and then like, you know, I, I just the decisions they make. Or, and then like the majority of people in this movie are just miserable to where I don't really care what they're going to do. And then the, then the one nice person becomes miserable by the very end so so i I just like i felt like this movie is trying to me make make me as miserable as the people in the film oh and and it succeeded because by the end i was like this this movie is as much a slog as it is when they're trying to walk through that muddy part of of the forest Mm. it's it the the way the story slogs along um it, it it and I mean, I know a lot of times you don't necessarily have to explain stuff, but there's a lot of this, mm-hmm. this, this movie has more questions than, you know, than it has, you know, any, it doesn't really have any answers. It has lots of questions. Let's just say that much. Uh, it, it has more, more, more question marks in the, on the Riddler costume. It's just, it's mm-hmm. just, it's, ah! it's, it, this movie is just very <laughs> frustrating very frustrating and there are elements that probably could have worked in a better movie this this felt like like a like a bad bbc movie Ooh. yeah um oh. and uh because you see a lot of those procedural or but then you don't even know what <laughs> what these characters are what they're doing and and this main as much as that that some of the performances i guess were okay like the little kid but I don't know. I just I didn't like the the main female character. I didn't like her at all. She was just oh, like wow. grumpy McGrumperson. Um, she's just a miserable human being. And then then by the end, it's like why? Maybe it's a good thing that a kid doesn't live with her because she's a <laughs> she's just making stupid decisions. And then when people are in trouble, she's just like I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to run away. I, I don't know. Just things like that. Just decisions. In this movie just annoyed me to no end. And then just how it plays out, the ending is just a mess of a movie that that tries to put like a little bit of a witch thing in there, uh, but not in a good way. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this film. Not a fan. Jeff, what was your first impression of Mandrake? Um, well, I don't think it's it's not uh, as 
bad as Christopher's. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure about crystals. Um, but my, my main problem was between the accent and the sound, I had a hard time following some of the stuff. You know, when the witch was uh mary's leaning over whispering things to people i had no idea what she was saying maybe we're not supposed to know i don't know but there's several times that i was like i don't know and then we something else happens and i'm like well where did that come from um so anyway i was i was i thought the acting was okay i kind of liked uh the witch as it if it's durbel karate i, I wish i knew the right name Durblay, Durblay, Durblay karate to pronounce her name uh Anyway, uh, I thought she was creepy. You know, she was at times seemed semi-normal uh, and at other times conniving and mystical and enchant, and you know, uh, naked, freaking people out. Um, so, yeah, I thought she, she played a good nasty witch. And um, I was good with uh, uh, Deirdre Mullins as the i think she was sort of the equivalent of a social worker somebody that or a parole officer maybe somebody that was supposed mm -hmm. to check in with mary and help her find her way um but it is it's just really weird in the end i have a vague idea of what was going on but not entirely um and i'm i'm with christopher why uh the stepmother took those took that kid to the either one of them took the took that kid to where those other two kids were I just i'm like uh so yeah I, I, you know, work day. I don't know story the story's uneven <laughs> I, I like the acting i like the atmosphere but in the end i i just had a hard time following where we were going and i you know i think i understand the whole the the mandrake uh legend or mythology so anyway mm. well I, I i don't have a good story to share here um i in full disclosure full transparency i could not stay awake through two sittings of this film i tried twice to watch this movie both times Put me out like a light. I woke up like I was telling before the show. I woke up one time. And there's a a woman's butt in my face. Like what's going on? And right, I'm like, what is happening? Uh, and so I struggled. I struggled. And then I I panic watched all the pieces I couldn't I didn't see and tried to put it all together. So this movie was just torture for me. Um, I just I couldn't. Yeah. I, it, it just didn't engage me. It didn't, it, 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 I, and yeah. And I did watch two other movies in this, in the span of this. So it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't up for watching movies. Um, but gosh, yeah, this movie is not a favorite. Well, you know, honestly, this, this movie is interesting because they have these like scorned women and yeah I so guess... spoilers now too right yeah we're oh, in yeah, spoilers yeah. i do have some questions and maybe parts that i missed didn't make it but we'll get there go ahead with your scorned women sorry but i i don't who wrote this are you asking um, for serious or are you being I'm matt harvey that... okay okay yeah okay i'm not i'm not trying to be a jerk here but... as a female director and a, and a male writer yeah. irrelevant the writer is a man and it feels like it it feels like a man trying to write a feminist movie that's what i was gonna say sorry but it does it's odd because i'm like what why does what is what is happening here why is why what on earth it felt odd and weird and and i usually don't feel that way about movies that try to be pro you know stronger female but they made uh, i don't know i i should have i'm not even sure if it was if there was that mm -hmm. it was weird because it's it's, just... it's like and 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 i will say like i i don't 
I don't fully hate this movie or anything, but yeah, I mean, and, and there's elements there to where this could have been like a good film, you know, like if, if I think if for me, it's like I and especially by the end, I was expecting something weird or dire. I thought that we're in spoiler. But I thought she was going to throw the baby into the fire or something. I thought something really dark was going to happen. Yeah, me too. You know, I so sort of like when you when it. you go watch the witch and the witch is like grinding up a baby or something. I thought something dark or crazy was going to happen and nothing happens uh, other than a. a old naked lady um but th th there's so many things throughout this film where the decisions are weird and then and then they don't explain stuff i mean you you, you kind of put the puzzles to puzzle pieces of the puzzle together to figure out why she's doing these things but there just needs to be more there and then it's like it's such a slog of a film i mean this is like this, I call this a slow slog because it's it's so like drawn out and the the characters don't really do as much or a lot, you know. And then like she, her, the, the main female character who's like, I don't know, it seems to be pretty obvious that <laughs> this woman's probably doing these things. Okay, but wait, it's... okay, can we question something else here a bit? Like, okay, this woman got beaten and burned almost to death and then she kills her husband and she's sent to prison for 20 years yeah let, it, it, let, let me burn the justice system down that does something like that i don't know that i buy it because here's the thing he would have been put in prison so she wouldn't have had access to him if let's just say this happened after she healed and got out of the hospital he would have already been in prison Okay, so we're assuming that this happens right after or after she puts herself out or something. I I feel like that is I feel like well, it's I thought not they, very fleshed out. I thought they said something about a double murder too, which I again well, this see, is where it's a little fuzzy about. Well, that's you know, the who, problem. That makes sense. The whole the movie is, the movie's very unclear about the details to where like I didn't I, I almost felt like well maybe maybe what happened with her husband didn't really happen. Maybe it's had something to do with satanic stuff that she's doing. So like the whole time, I'm not, I'm not even sure what the reality of this whole situation is. I mean, yeah. and there, and there's puzzle pieces. Like, uh, I mean, there's other things like, uh, were they, in, were they uh, hinting at her son had diabetes or something? Is that what he was doing? Was he giving himself shots? See, I, 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 don't, I don't know. know because, so two questions. Yeah, some kind uh, of asthma. You kind of I, I got a lot more questions than two, but two, <laughs> two questions. One was they when they're looking for the bodies, they're looking for the children. They're searching for mm -hmm. these two children they're missing. And they find this other guy, Sean Duggan. And they all act like, oh, no, well, they found Sean Duggan instead. Like, well, what the hell is Sean <laughs> Duggan? And why are they not surprised about that? I, was this some other guy that was killed? I think like, they said he was like some... Was, some... Well, he was supposed to be the guy that lived in the room next to Thomas in the whatever that oh, was, oh, yeah. was. But we don't know uh, that he was <laughs> missing and they were looking for him. I didn't even know he was this missing was... and they were looking for him. Then the second yeah, question is, uh, so it seemed like when when Mary was uh, messing with the mandrake root and, and doing right. this uh, ceremony, <laughs> she says to Kathy that she's going to help her. That she's going to be, she'll be able to have kids, and you'll be shining so bright he won't be able to resist you, or something like that. Yeah, I that thought. was weird. So then she goes and talks to her son, and says, "Well, she'll either be dead or it'll work." You know, like so she just lied to the woman. She's like experimenting on her to see if the potion she made was right, and then apparently she's going to use the rest of the potion on her son. To cure him or whatever his him. problem yeah. is. And then yeah. when they knock the, the bottle off and it breaks, it goes all over the floor. Then that just That's why like, she's crying and upset. That yeah. ruins everything, right? So I, but I, it was hard to, that was hard to pick up, you know, that was, yeah. and I, and I still don't know what was wrong with him. Cause some of the time he seemed like uh, he was talking okay. And, but other times it seemed like he, couldn't talk he just wandered around doing this well that's that's why this. that's why i wasn't sure if he yeah i mean because i felt like he was giving himself a shot so i thought well maybe he has diabetes 
Well, there and was a has, shot there somewhere, but yeah. Yeah, because he gave he like gave himself a shot or something to his stomach or something. So I, I don't know what I don't know what he had other than just him. So again, there's like he had a melody there's, of some sort. There's all these unsaid things. You well, know, I'm and they and then the said things you don't understand because it's low volume or their accent's so bad. Not human. That's what I was assuming. Like his the father son. Is, what? Who was not human? The father. Her father. His father. The oh, man, okay, okay. The witches. The witches. Oh. She said. She said. I knew someone with cold hands. And she's like, and I, it wasn't my husband. Remember, at the end of that, she said. Oh, that's husband. true. That's true. Yep. So I think that the assumption is that her son's father. I don't know who it is, but I, I was thinking. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't someone <laughs> human, and so maybe she was trying to help that along. I. I don't know. I'm I'm just conjecture, but also I find it weird how apparently she had been in prison for 20 years and her son was raised by someone else, and of course she's upset about that, rightfully so. I get it. But then how do they? How would they have such a close bond? I just feel like it's really odd. The whole thing's very odd and weird and doesn't make sense. And I wish it did because I think that I almost kind of feel like someone put this movie together and threw it together. And knew it didn't make sense and thought, that's just going to make it mysterious. I swear, I feel like that. Mm. You know, it doesn't have to make sense. People will wonder and they'll think and they'll question and then they'll think it's more mysterious than what it really is. Yeah. Now, that is a thing. There are things that succeed in that, what you're talking, what you're describing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This movie doesn't. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up and give it our, our, our score, one to five. And our favorite scene, Crystal. You're up first. Okay. I'm going to give this movie a two. Hey. And okay, my favorite scene is going to be actually, it's just a shot and it's a transition shot, but I thought it was cool and I really liked it. And it's the upside down trees. No, oh, yeah. There's this shot. I really liked it. I was like, oh, that's pretty. Makes me I did feel see like, that. like Christmas. Felt wintry. That's my favorite part of the whole movie. Just the trees upside down. Upside down. Trees. Okay, well that works. That works. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty. Yeah, Christopher, <laughs> score at a favorite scene. Um, I give it a one point seven five. Um, okay. I, I mean it's it's shot well mm -hmm. for what it is for for being a bad BBC movie, but um, uh, as for favorite scene, um, there's not. <laughs> A lot of good scenes. I'll, I'll say when she when she's uh, doing whatever she's doing to that root baby, root baby, oh, yeah. where it looks like it's moving and stuff mm -hmm. and alive. And so, I, to me, that was the only time where I like I'm interested to see where this is going because we don't know, you know, because I, I I understand the whole thing about like the the root the mandrake root or whatever the reason that I think it's at the bottom of the tree or whatever the reason that people thought it was something magical because it always looks like a baby so uh yeah. so yeah so when she's like pouring blood on it and milk and it looks like it's like oh, it looks like it's moving and stuff that was more interesting but then it's like oh now we're going back to just normal people masquerading and doing weird things and sticking tubes down people's throats um yeah so that's my favorite well, that's the scene that stands out. I'm going to say favorite scene because there's nothing really <laughs> stand out scene. Stand out scene is fine. Yeah. Jeff, score one to five. Stand out scene. Uh, <laughs> like what about these? So well, I, I, I like the acting. I like the visuals. I like the atmosphere of it. To me, there's lots of good looking scenes, but it doesn't mm -hmm. tell a coherent story. So. I'm actually going quite a bit better than you guys. I'm going 2.75. Um, nice. But my favorite scene, I'm going to say the part Chris just sort of glossed over the uh, tube down the throat when she throws the root juice down, root. down her oh, yeah. down the big say that tube. Again, <laughs> the root, the root juice. Root root. juice. <sighs> or, or blood or whatever it was, the potion that comes from the mandrake root. You call it call it the root juice. I, I, I think it, juice. it was partially blood too. I think it was blood from those kids. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So well, I, okay. yeah, that was, okay. was all going together. All right. Well, again, I you know my caveat is that I 
attempted to watch this twice, fell asleep both times, and then panic watched the in the middle trying to get ready for the show. I don't have a very cohesive recollection of the movie, but I, I don't hear that anybody else does either. Honestly. Um, so, I mean, it's just not a movie for me, so it's hard to give it anything more than a one and a half, but, you know, it, take it with a, you know, the caveat. There, there was a scene that got to me because it's a thing that, uh, it, okay, so she's the, I guess it's the witch lady, right? They're in the house with the 666 on the wall and all the horns and everything. <laughs> all the, yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, she's in the doorway. It's dark night and there's a guy there. I think it's, is that her son? I don't know. It might be a cop. I don't know who it is. But he wants to come in and she like goes into the shadow where you can't see her. Did I dream that? Um, I no, I don't remember that. I don't know. That I don't know, but I saw that in, I saw that when I was watching it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, to me, it just freaks me out when people disappear in the shadows. Uh, and that was it? Like Homer Simpson? Yes, like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Homer Simpson. Well, well, you know what else? <laughs> I might have changed it if I thought it was a great image when they find the they find the two little kids and they're laying there with the little Oh, I did too. Petals across their eyes. The that was uh, that was a uh, I like that too. I didn't like that. that uh, impactful bad. scene. Well, the one that stuck out the most to me was see, the wait. naked butt. I was just, it was just like, I'm literally, I woke up and was like, this, this, uh, it's lit well, they're, fire and the baby. Ba um. They were just oh, copying scenes from the witch. Was it? But it was just her. I like it. Right? It was just her. Okay. Anyway, Mandrake gets on. Shudder. Uh, watch it. Stay awake. And let us know what you think. <laughs> I apologize to the filmmakers. I just couldn't do it. Um, but I think I think. People that are like really super into like witch stuff might might enjoy it trying to well, get into it. And I think I might enjoy it more with subtitles. There, I mean, there's an interesting <laughs> folk horror element involving the man right. trick, but this right. does not tell a great story. But that, but I think that mythological element and how they how they're sort of <laughs> whatever way they're using it sounds interesting. But it could have been told a bit better. So I think that's probably the more interesting thing. So you you can find something interesting if you're interested in like sort of like folk horror mythology and that kind of stuff. And there is there is I mean people do like that. There are very popular yeah. films in that realm. So check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be gentle. We won't. <laughs> um, well, no, I'd like to hear it. people that like it. You know, whether they, whether they oh, like I'm it. sure there's some people might 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 enjoy this. Oh, I'm you know? sure that people like it, and then people and it will... might and it might be a cultural thing too. You know, it, I think so. I think there's exactly, a lot. And that's what I was saying. Some of it might be lost in translation. Lost in the, the 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 is it Irish? Mm -hmm. it's Irish. Irish. Yes, the Irish, Irish accent is very the brogue is thick <laughs> for a few of the actors. I think I might so. be a little too Scottish for this movie. Yeah, I don't think I had a. Because I well I watched a good portion of it twice, like up through the time when she goes and puts the thing on the woman's burn up leg and right and I didn't have well, any yeah. trouble with that. Well, when she she's walking this, through the woods, when she's yeah. walking through the woods and talking, I was like, I have no idea what she just what they uh, just talked about. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have the thing too where uh, you know you're supposed to dig up the uh, the mandrake root and it'll scream and yeah. that will kill anybody that hears it so that's why they they made her kathy the the, the uh, parole officer whatever she was dig up the root and told her to be quick about it or you won't make it so you know if she if she'd seen she harry potter, 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 potter i i did like the son in, talking to the mom about uh his mother about because his the his his father was a police officer right and he was yes. like, he puts he puts bad people in jail, and she and he asked her if she puts people in yeah. jail, and, and, and then yeah. she goes, no, I, I I helped him, and he was like confused by it. I I like that. I like that. Yeah, I should have said that as my favorite. Song. See, anyway. I didn't like that because they're just making her out to be a bad mother. Like she doesn't spend any time. They were making her out to be a bad mother. She'd rather help other people yeah. than her own child. She'd rather well, look at Mary yeah, criminal did. criminal pictures than. Than yeah. be with her son in the bed, and uh, I got I got so freaking did. mad at her. <laughs> it did make her out to be a bad mother, though. Yeah, yeah. and I just was not really down with all of that. I'm like, I just can't buy that someone who's a social worker would 
really be like that. Well, but then, but then, like when the other woman has her baby, she's mis she becomes miserable too. So it like betrays women who have kids as miserable. Yeah, it's just <laughs> very weird. The whole thing's just <laughs> odd. Mm. I think it. Mm, yeah. Well, her husband mm. died. Yeah. Wow. Downer. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, Christopher, Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's, yes. let's say good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>